YouTube, what is going on, and welcome to the 16th episode of the Andrew Luck Career Mode. In this episode, we have four BPL games, um, and we start off this episode with a game against Stoke City. So, Stoke City are a pretty decent side, but no, not real much better than us, so we should have a good chance to win this game, and I'm going with Unal Poulsen, Baker, Hoiberg Amini, Andy Najjar, Constellas, Henlin, Nutrek, Henley, and um, Proto in goal. So, here comes Stoke City to start off this game. It's Diouf to Ireland. Ireland back to Diouf and Wellen. He passes it outside to Nzonzi, and Nzonzi gives it up to Ireland, but Unal intercepts. And now here comes Stoke on the attack at Stephen Ireland gives it out to Arnautovic. Arnautovic dribbling down the wing. He gives it back to Stephen Ireland. Ireland back inside to Arnautovic. The two are working very well. Back to Diouf. Back inside Stephen Ireland to Diouf. Diouf with the shot and it's saved by Proto. So some good play early on from Stoke City. But here come Anderlecht. It's Unal on the ball. Unal dribbling. He tries to make a move but he p plays the through ball and that's intercepted and that will be the end of the first half. So a pretty disappointing first half from both sides, not really many chances, so hopefully there can be more in the second half. As here comes Constellas, he's on the ball, he passes it inside to Hoiberg, Hoiberg back outside to Henley, Henley dribbling it around, he gives it inside to Yusuf Poulsen, Poulsen has a shot, it's deflected to Baker, oh it's off the bar, it could have been a goal for Lewis Baker, it was very possible, he had the shot right there, but it just went off the bar, so a great chance there, but Nutrak clears the ball and that's the end of the game, so disappointing to not get the win, but a draw was okay in this game with our backup team, so I'm definitely not mad at this game, but we could have done better if we would have buried that Baker chance, but still not a really bad game. Not much to say offensively, as it was a pretty boring defensive game. So now we're going into our next game against Manchester City, and the lineup I'm going with is, I believe, um, coming up right now, and it's going to be... Wait for it. Mitrovic, Mbolo, Tielmans, Loftus, Sheik, Rabiot, Defor, and Salaka, Stones, and Bemba, Vanderborn, and Proto in goal. So that's the lineup that I'm going with against Man City. So this was a really big team, so I was really excited to see how my team would fare against a team with all this attacking options up front. So. Yeah, James Milner gives it up to Sanga. Sanga back off to Mangala. Mangala inside to Yaya Torre. Torre to Milner, but Milner's pass gets intercepted. And now City on the attack. And Salaka steals it from Scott Sinclair. But here comes the header and Loftus Cheek. He wins the header, but he's down on the ground injured. I'm waiting for the referee to do something to call it, but he doesn't do anything. Aguero on the ball. He plays a back heel to Kadira. Kadira to Negredo. Negredo to Milner. Milner to Sinclair. And. He's still on the ground. Rabiot gives it off to Proto. He just got up. He doesn't look like he's playing, but we're still playing on. I don't know what's going on. He's just standing there. And now Yaya Torre on the ball. He placed inside. He's now sitting down. Kadira inside to Aguero, and he scores. And I was very unhappy with this goal. I have a guy just sitting there who's the center mid right there. He would have defended that, and they wouldn't have scored. So that was very frustrating, and now he has to go out injured. And we'll see how long he's out for, but now I have to bring on a sub for him, and I was just really disappointed with the ref not blowing for, um, for play to stop right there, so... So now after taking him off, Man City are on the attack again with Aguero. Aguero inside to Negredo. Negredo back to Aguero. Aguero does a 1-2 with Kadira. Aguero on the ball, and he goes around and scores the goal for Manchester City to give them a 2-0 lead. So Aguero showing why he's the league leading scorer with a first-half brace against Anderlecht right now. So we just haven't defended against him very well so far this game, and we just need to pick it up better if we're going to stand a chance to come back in this game and keep Man City off of the goals as Mitrovic is on the ball again, but the ref does blow for halftime right here. So, a very disappointing first half for Anderlecht, but we just need to be better in the second half as here comes Mbolo. He tries to do a 1 2 with Rabiot, but he doesn't really make the run. Rabiot tries to play it through, but Mangala with an interception. Rabiot gets the ball back. He's going around. He tries to make a move. He kind of beats one guy with the move. He does another fake shot around. Tries to get back inside. Tries to do another one, but he gets stolen, and Caballero wins the ball. As now, here we go again. It's Thielmans. He plays it through inside to Mitrovic. Mitrovic goes, but he gets fouled. It's now um, we see what the ref does to Bakri Sanga as he does give a yellow card right there. I tried to take this free kick as I tried to switch it to Tillman, but no, the Man City wall went in too far as that's going to be a penalty on them. So 
Here we go again. It's um, it's going to be Thielman's on the ball. He's going up to take the free kick. As here he comes up, he goes to take the free kick, and it just goes off Yaya Torre, who was just dominating the midfield so far this game. So he was just a beast. And now here we go, and Stones slide tackles um, player for City and gets a yellow card. So that was kind of disappointing, but we see the replay here. I mean, not much to say. It was just solid yellow card, and... Now Manchester City on the ball again. I should have gotten this interception with Mbolo. And now I go in. I'm getting a little frustrated and just slide tackle Cole. And the ref doesn't appreciate that. Gives me a straight red card. So, yeah, I mean, it's just really disappointing just how we played this game. I felt like Yaya Torre followed me at least five times this game. And the ref never called it. So, I got a little frustrated. And, you know, I mean, it was just not really smart for me. So, I didn't play too well in this game, which was disappointing, and I mean, it is what it is. We got a disappointing result, but it's against one of the two best teams in the league, in my opinion, so it's not that big of a deal. We'll go and do our European qualifiers for Belgium, as here we have a game against Finland. I'm going to be simming all the qualifiers, and then I'm only going to play like the actual competitions with Belgium. So here we go into this first game with um, Belgium against Finland. You can see my lineup right there. I added a good amount of Vanderlecht players to the squad, but I'm not playing any of them because I want to keep them fit for the club level. So we lost that game against Finland 2-1, so that was really disappointing. We actually fall out of the top three, but now we go into this game against Bulgaria and are hoping to grab all three points here. So it's the exact same lineup as it was for the last game, and this time we actually get a 2-0 win with Nangol and scoring goal, and that was pretty exciting to get our first win at international level. Now we're going into this game against QPR, so the lineup I will be putting out is Mitrovic, Mbolo, Tielmans, Clutch, and Rabio, Defor, Ensalaka, Stones, and Bemba, Henley, and Proto in goal. So hopefully they can get the three points against a not very good QPR team. So I go ultra attacking from the start and team pressing and high pressure. So we'll see if that can lead us to a win. Is um, QPR give the ball away pretty cheaply, but here comes Andelect. It's Defor on the ball. He gives it up to Mitrovic. Mitrovic to Klatschen. Klatschen finds Defor in the middle again. Defor, he has a hit, and it's just wide of the post. So, pretty close to scoring right there. I actually thought it was in for a second, but not to be as. Here comes Andelect again. It's Mitrovic on the ball. He's through on goal. He's going to go. He's going to stop. He goes around one to very shoots. Scores goal. It's Alexandra Mitrovic with the goal, and it was just solid move by him he went right around the defender and um he got the goal as he's been playing really well recently so I'm just really excited that he's finally been making the progress that I've wanted him to go all year as now here comes QPR again it's Barton to the center he gives it off and Terapt has the ball fall to him and almost scores so that would have been disappointing to give away the lead so soon as we eventually do go into halftime with score one nothing Anderlecht, so that was pretty exciting having the lead going in the second half, and it's just what we wanted to do against the poor QPR side, and really nothing happened in the second half, so the best attack came in the 90th minute for QPR, is here comes Vargas on the ball, but it gets intercepted by Mbemba, and the ref blows, so really exciting to get the three points right there in this game, as that was just really important, and now we go into a game against Leicester City, as three points was definitely important in this game, too. I go with the exact same lineup instead. Now I go with Vanderborn as he was on a red card, so we'll see if this team can get three points against Leicester City, as last time we played them, I believe we did lose, so it would be kind of disappointing to end the year with one or zero points against them, so I go with the exact same thing, ultra attacking, high pressure, and team pressing, so we'll see if we can get the job done, as Vardy has a shot go wide, but... I go for the goal kick. I do what I normally do, but Vardy is right there for the interception as he's dribbling it around. He gives it off to Nugent. Nugent on the ball. He goes. He tries to pass it to Vardy, but it's a foul on Vardy. So, um, Leicester City looking pretty dangerous, but now Vanderborn on the ball. He gives it off to Defor. Defor inside to Mbolo. Mbolo on the ball. He dribbles around one. He goes to shoot. He scores! Mbolo goal with another one. It's his eighth in all competitions. As I really thought the keeper could have done a lot better on this shot. It seemed like a pretty weak shot from just outside the boxes. I don't know. I just felt like that wasn't going in. But now Mitrovic on the ball trying to make it two. He goes around him. He goes all the way around. It's a simple finish for Mitrovic as he makes it 2-0. Seventh goal in all competitions for Mitrovic, who is chasing Mbolo for the Golden Boot Award for this team. So 
yeah, it's just really exciting to see the two strikers playing so well, but hopefully we can keep uh, applying this pressure and just score some more goals and just finish this game, unlike against Burnley. But Nugent's on the ball. He's going around. He tries to chip. It's a stunning goal from Nugent, who scores against Anderlecht to make it 2-1. to one. It's just a really great chip by him as Delayette on the ball again. He passed it right to Rabiot, and that will be the end of the first half. So, yeah, just a great goal from Leicester City. You get them right back into this game as I didn't want to make the same mistake as I did against Burnley, just staying back, but that would prove costly as Danny Drinkwater passed off to Jamie Vardy as I thought he was off sides, and Vardy didn't start celebrating until a second later, so uh, maybe he thought he was off sides too, but he does get the goal right there, so that was just really disappointing. So in both games that we've gotten two to no lead recently, we've both given up, up the lead away, so that's really disappointing as here comes Lester again. It's Uloha, he passed it inside to Nugent, and Nugent has an easy finish, and just so disappointing to give up this goal, too. I was just so frustrated with this game, just how we gave it away, so getting zero points is now it's 90th minute, and that's the end of the game, so just really disappointed, but I'm just kind of in the mode right now just to get into the second season, so in the next episode, it's basically just going to be me simming all the games and then just getting into the second season as I showed this because it said we only had one shot in target and Leicester only had two, yet we scored two and Leicester scored three, just great job EA, but yeah, next episode I'm going to be simming some games and then also getting into season two.